Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Catalan Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I've already published two YouTube videos specific to BDD Cucumber Framework by using Catalan Studio. So in those two YouTube videos, I have explained you how can we create the Cucumber feature files and then how can you define the step definition for the feature files and also I have explained you how to automate a basic test case by using by using feature file and the step definition and then how can you run the test by using a feature file and the feature folders right so this is our third lesson which is a part 3 of BDD Cucumber framework where I am gonna teach you how can we create the Cucumber runner class by using Catalan Studio and how can we run the Cucumber test cases by using Cucumber runner class. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so in this lesson, what we are going to do, we are going to first create a new class inside a folder called include. Under include, we have another folder called scripts, right? And then we are going to create a groovy class. Fine. Okay. And then I'm going to add the code related to Cucumber Runner class. And then we will call the Cucumber keyword in test case to run the feature file with Cucumber class runner. Earlier, I showed you how to run with Cucumber feature files and feature folder, right? But in this class, I'm going to show you how can we run tests by using Cucumber runner class. Okay. So now let's jump under the system and see how can we create Cucumber runner class and then how can we run your BDD test cases by using Cucumber runner class. Okay. So this is my Catalan Studio, right? So in my previous two sessions, I have told you how can you create the feature file, right? We created a feature file and then we also created a corresponding step definition file where we have defined all the actions that we need to perform to run this feature file, right? Like given user navigates to login page, enter username, password and click on login and we have a corresponding step definitions here. Correct. So that is done. And what we did, we have run this feature file by using the Cucumber keywords like run feature folder and run feature file. We directly run feature folder or you can directly run feature file. So if you run feature folder, all the feature files that are available in this folder will be run. Right. So now in this session, I'm going to teach you how can you create the Cucumber class runner. Okay, Cucumber runner class, right? So now for that, you need to go to your Groovy. As I told you, scripts. What is our first step? Our first step is you need to go to Groovy, right? So before we start creating our runner, uh, Cucumber runner class, let's show you, let me show you the runner class here in generic generic runner class right cucumber runner class generally we import all these libraries that is required for the cucumber runner right so one one um, library is run with from junit and the other one is cucumber options from cucumber api and then there is another uh, library cucumber library from cucumber api right so then we will be defining at the rate run with and here we'll be defining the Cucumber options where you are going to tell, okay, what are all the features that needs to be run with this runner class? And then we are going to glue the step definition. But here we are not going to glue any step definitions because Catalan will take care of the gluing the step definition with the feature files. I have explained this in my previous session. And then also you can add other options like pretty HTML reports and JSON reports etc right so now let's go back to our catalan here under groovy under default let me create a new class file right right click 
new and select step definition. I'm going to name this as cucumber runner cucumber runner. I'm going to name this as cucumber runner and I'm not going to include the generate sample given when then the step definition. Okay, cucumber runner and click OK. So it's going to create a new class file. Okay, so here I need to first copy all the libraries. What libraries? I need to import these libraries, correct? To start with Cucumber class, right? So I'm going to just copy this. I'm going to import them here. And then just minimize all these. So I imported all these, right? Done. Now, let's start with the defining the Cucumber Runner class. So now, at the rate run with. So if you see here, if you hover here, it's going to show you, see, org j unit runner run with. So basically it is coming from j unit, correct? What is this? Cucumber dot class. So if you see hover here, Cucumber is coming from Cucumber API j unit. Just now we added those three, right? So these three, correct? That is done. And once you define that, now, at the rate, now I'm going to define the Cucumber options. Cucumber options. So what are the Cucumber options? These Cucumber options again coming from the API. Cucumber options API. Correct? Cucumber API. And now, Cucumber options. Here, I need to define the feature file. What is my feature? That should include. Uh, so basically, I need to copy this. So where is my uh, feature file? So feature file is here, correct? So copy this feature file, copy the ID and then paste it here. So basically, so I want to run all the features that all exist in the feature folder. So then you can copy here actually from the folder itself. You can copy ID from the folder, paste it here, right? I'm defining feature equal to features equal to features equal to this is my feature folder ID correct comma I am gluing this step definition but as I told you in an earlier session the cucumber glues your feature file with the step definition by default so that's why I'm leaving this empty correct and now plugin i'm going to define the options now what plugin i want to add pretty format right and then i want to add html where i want to generate this html report under reports folder okay under reports folder done and also I want to define the JSON JSON report where reports again this is reports same reports folder let's copy this sorry let's copy this reports folder and the file name that needs to be generated is cucumber dot json okay so done and now and what is our uh, public scale our public class is cucumber so i think we have done we are done defining all this okay our runner class so now so you understand right so basically we are running with our cucumber class and then i am defining the cucumber options as the features that needs to be considered and it needs to glue to the step definition because Catalans take care of this. I did not provide any step definition path here. I don't need to provide that. And then I also added other options like pretty HTML report folder and JSON reports, right? So now let's go back to our test case. Now here, if you go to custom keywords, right? Go here, built-in keywords, 
cucumber keywords and general here earlier i showed you run feature file run feature folder now today i'm going to teach you run with cucumber runner right drag and drop here and here what is the cucumber runner that i want to run with so with this one cucumber runner so let's go back to script here so if you see here instead of null i want to include cucumber runner here cucumber runner dot groovy right cucumber runner dot groovy so now let's go here so now let's run this now so before that let me delete these two earlier ones right now let's save this now run the file so now it should run successfully right run as soon as you run it should open i mean it should interact with cucumber runner and it should pick up the feature files that we defined okay there is some issue no such glue. sorry so basically here i need to just put the cucumber runner class okay or what you can do is just you can drag and drop here simple this way it works this way also okay now let's run this now So it should interact with your cucumber runner and it should call the feature files. So it is initiating the Chrome driver now, right? It opened your Chrome browser and it should log into, it's logging in. Once it is logged in and it should log out again. It's logged out and close the browser. So this is successful. So that means now our test is passed. Correct? You can see all the results here. All are passed. All the steps are passed. Now, we actually defined under Cucumber Runner, we defined to generate some reports, right? So, these are the reports where I can find them. Okay. So, let's go to reports. Under reports. So, this is normal, right? We ran. What is the test case that we ran? Let's go back here. Yeah, this one. Test cucumber, smoke test cucumber. Uh, when is this? Let's see. Let's go back to uh, the corresponding folder here. Go to open contain folder. And here, let's go back to our framework. So if you see here, there is a new folder called reports folder, right? Because we are generating this reports folder here, right? Let's go to reports folder. And here, open this HTML. See here, you have the entire report here. See, this is your scenario. And this is your example, right? We entered username, password. And this is your scenario given. User navigates to login, enters username, password, clicks on login. And, and then user navigates to registration page. That's what we did, right? So this is done. And also you have a JSON um formatted uh, report as well right so this is all uh, about creating cucumber runner class by using catalan studio and running your cucumber uh, test by using cucumber runner class so if you have any queries leave your comments in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you